Hello everybody and once again welcome back to Black Rose. This is part two and if you remember we're still looking for the second key to the visitation room. We found the first one for the first padlock but there's still a second one for the second padlock that I believe used to be in the possession of someone's son. Someone's son who used to hide under tables. So perhaps we're looking under tables for this key? Um, I had a quick check around this room already. There's nothing here so let's just leave and, and see what we find. I have to... That's new, isn't it? I think so. I don't remember that being there before. Maybe it moved. Maybe it fell off the notice board. There are a oh, lot of new. strange things I've seen around this place. For instance, a fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. Right. It's some kind of ladder shaft. But yeah. There's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically, most likely by the lockdown system. Okay. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed off because it's not accessible from anywhere down there. Another thing I've started wondering about is a metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a month now. I asked about it once out of curiosity, but he avoided giving me a direct answer. He told me it broke off of something. I had already assumed this, seeing as it's covered in dirt and rusted around the edges where it had clearly been attached to something for a very long time. Right. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. Okay, there's more, so please keep going. She was often depressed, so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is down into the basement, but I went down there one day to ask her something and I couldn't find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room somewhere down there. After all, I did learn from Michael that this building is from the 1600s, long before it was ever a funeral home. Okay. Buildings as old as this one sometimes have quite a few secret areas. Right. Well, that's pretty interesting, so there's possibly some sort of secret room in the basement. Okay, perhaps we should head down there. Well, I suppose we're heading in that direction, so we'll, uh, we'll have a little look, shall we? Okay, no, okay, well, let's keep going. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I, uh, I had to reload the game because after it... Was that Myrtle? That didn't sound like Myrtle. That might have been something else or someone else. Yeah, I had to reload the game because it didn't have any, didn't have any sound, so there's a bit of a bug there. Is this new as well? They still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been lying in his coffin now for two days and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral, it had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or he heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty sad. Yet again, there's more, though. As far as feeling nervous around coffins, I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation room. Really? The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier, a little bit oppressive even. It seems to be more noticeable today than it was yesterday. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard before about locations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal stuff here. There aren't any windows in there and it is the middle of summer. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm liking this, actually. There's much more backstory than there was before. In fact, last time there wasn't really a story. You were just haunted by a, a girl called Myrtle or a woman called Myrtle. And, well, that was pretty much all you knew. Um, okay. This door's closed. What's going on with it? Okay, it is unlocked. That's good. I like to know that my exits are <laughs> available to me. What about this room? Has this changed at all? Nope. Still as mundane and barren as it 
ever was. So <laughs> we're just going to be leaving that behind. The family room. I will just keep checking this one. The door warped still. Yeah, it's still warped pretty badly. I don't think I'll be able to get it open. Um, the chapel. Hang on, hang on. Foot the stairs. Is that new as well? What's with all these new notes? It turns out that Devin got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's key card from the office. Mrs. Rains had been in there and forgot to lock it when she left. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably just something else she inadvertently compromised. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's keycard. Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches and the chance that it was stolen, but then again, Mrs. Rains would be the one who would do that. I discovered earlier today that Devin had stolen the system lock override key as well and hidden it somewhere in the building. <laughs> this has got to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. Unbelievable. He's just stealing things left, right, and center. Alright, that's the end of that. Right, so... The chapel, is it still available? It's still unlocked, I can still go in. Okay, anything changed? Any new notes, for instance? Anything under the tables? I suppose I should be checking under the tables, really. Wasn't there one over there? They stitched him back together. Okay, there's... Oh, there's something on top of it, though. Oh, I didn't see this before. Grief-stricken man killed by train after blinding himself. Bloody hell. This is Sullivan and Myrtle's children. Looking like Barbie dolls over there, on the right. Okay, I'm just going to sort of skim this, save my voice a little bit. So, what exactly happened? So he was grief-stricken. Yes. He had an emotional breakdown after the death of a childhood friend. He apparently gouged out his own eyes using a scalpel from the funeral home's preparation room and managed to scramble out a nearby window. Bloody hell. Oh. He fell onto the railway tracks, made no effort to, uh, to get up. And he was killed on impact! The fast-moving train hit, uh, hitting him with such force that he was severed into three pieces. And there's something sort of scribbled down in the bottom right. They never buried either of them. Both are still here. Well, we know Myrtle is. We've seen her coffin. Where's Sullivan's coffin? I'm wondering if it's the visitation room. Honestly. Hmm, okay, well, let's continue. Oh, hang on, no, there's there's something written on the back. Okay. They say that if you take his rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. I heard that he also tears you into three pieces if he catches you. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> okay. Oh, ooh, bloody hell. Oh, the static. Re Something's under the table. Look under. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, it's a key. Oh! That must have been Devin. <laughs> that was kind of comical, kind of scary. That was cool. Very effective. They won't find it ever. Okay, I'll continue. There is a key here, and it's the second key to the visitation room. That will unlock the second padlock, I think. All right. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Right, let's just have a little look around, just in case there is anything else here that I, I've missed. You know, I'm not getting chased right now, so I can sort of spend a little bit more time having a look at the details. Uh, I think we're actually okay. I suppose the next move is the visitation room. But, um, but on the way... What the hell? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't like the sound of that whispering. Let's actually go this way. <laughs> try and try and stay away from that for the time being. So yeah, it really does sound like we should go to the visitation room. But I kind of want to check the, the basement for a secret room. Although with that static, maybe I don't. I don't know. Let's take a look at the visitation room. We'll come back to the basement. Where's that coming from? Oh! All right. <sighs> the game still has its fair share of jump scares, but they are uh, they're pretty good. They're effective. Let's see. Uh, has that moved, or is that another one? Let me just check this. So that is a ladder, and that grate is, like, electronically 
in place, right? It's like locked in place. Okay. What's this? Okay, that's different. Um, it's the drawing. Oh, it's a, it's the coffin, Myrtle's coffin, I think, maybe. Although no, the key that was in Myrtle's coffin was on her pillow. So maybe not. Maybe this is Sullivan or something. I don't know. Either way, let's unlock this door and have a look. There we are. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> this is really quite tense. Oh, bloody hell. Oh yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. The air is uh, it's very stuffy, it's very heavy. A very ominous presence appears to be in this room. Alright. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is Sullivan's casket, isn't it? Dare you, dare you, double dare you. Oh, and look at this. This is the Black Rose, the Origami Paper Rose. Alright. Didn't it say that I have to take it to open the coffin? And according to that drawing, there's a key in there, so... Here we go. There's a black origami rose lying on top of the coffin. Do I take it? Yes. <laughs> and regret it, probably. Okay. How do I unlock the coffin? I can't seem to open it. The prompt's not coming up. Uh, is there something around this room that I've missed? Some sort of detail, perhaps another note? A bit more of the backstory? Not seeing anything, to be honest. Maybe I should go down into the basement and- Oh no, 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 no. I can't get out. Oh no! Shit. Oh, shit. Let's take a look, shall we? Sullivan James was blind as a bat. Sullivan James fell down flat. Well, they did stitch him back together quite well. Sullivan James is withered and blue. Sullivan James is coming for you. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> What's going on? Holy shit! Oh my god! What the fuck is going on? Let me out, let me out right now. <laughs> oh! Shit! No, go, 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 go! Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, he's fast! He's like fucking floating or something! Oh. Just keep running in a circle. Maybe that will... Oh, oh my god! Oh, he's wiggling all over the place! Oh my god, let me out, you maniac! Okay, hang on, hang on. The key! Is the key in there somewhere? The key! I got the key! Let me the fuck out! Oh god! Oh. Oh. Right. Is the key for the door? It's the key for the door! It is! Go, 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 go! Okay, alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, uh, upstairs, upstairs. Shit! I'm sorry I'm shouting, I can't kind of hear myself over how loud this is. And, plus, it's fucking scary. Holy shit, he's. I think he's faster than Myrtle. He doesn't teleport, it seems. Which is good. My score just went shooting up then. Whoa! Oh my god. Does he go away like Myrtle does? What do, I, what do I need to do? I'm just running around the place hoping he goes away. Oh, he's down there now. Alright, well, we're going back on ourselves, aren't we? It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. <laughs> I'm fine. Something just fell where Sullivan was. Well, where was Sullivan? He was behind me somewhere. He was chasing me. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a security card. It's a key card, right. And that's... That's got to be for the door down there, but I don't know the passcode yet. Devin, like, hid the passcode or something, didn't he? Maybe I need, Maybe I need to keep looking under tables. Holy shit, that was intense. Let's see. So, can we use this? Right, I see. Okay, so we slide it down. We still need to enter the passcode, though. And what is it? Oh, we need to actually do it on the, uh, on the, on the keyboard. Okay, so it's four digits. And uh, 9,999 possibilities to go, I suppose. Sure. Sure, right-click to go back, yeah. 
Oh, fucking hell, what was this? What's this? Was this here before? Hang on. This, this is a little puzzle, I think. Count the lines between the lines. It's a game of noughts and crosses. There's four of them. Each one representing a digit for the code, probably. Let's see. So, count the lines between the lines? What do you mean by that? Do you mean... So you don't count the sort of table? You count the noughts and crosses? Or you, you count how many crosses or how many noughts there are, for instance? I don't know. I'm going to need a pen. I'm going to need to have a little bit of a, bit of a, a think about this one, I think. So, let's say... Let's say that one is 1, because it's got 1x. Let's say that one's 3, because it's got 3. Now, let's see. That one is 2, and that one is also 2. Is it 1, 3, 2, 2? It is not. Okay, so that's that eliminated. Count the lines between the lines. Should I count every X as two? Because there's two lines in an X. If Hang on, if we do both of them. Can we do both of them? So... Let's see. So... So there's two lines in an X. So let's assume the first one is two. And then there's six... X, oh, there's, there's three X's, so there's six. But do I count the, the zeros as well? Do I count the noughts? I guess that would be one line each. So let's let's say it's either two, six or nine. It's either six or nine. Okay, this one would be four, and this one would probably be four, or it would be seven. Okay, so let's see. It's two six four four or two nine four seven. I'm thinking. So let's try two six four four. That was just the crosses. Now, the noughts and the crosses. 2947, I think. That's it! Granted access. Absolutely fantastic. We're in. Brilliant. Okay. All right. This is brilliant. I am certainly not regressing giving this a second try. It, it has really been improved. Before, it was kind of like a throwaway game, but now it's got some substance. It's great. Alright. So what are we looking for here? Wasn't there mention of a, a handle or something on uh, uh, one of the people's desks? Michael's desk or something like that? Alright. Okay, so we've got the morgue lockers here. Any, uh, any bodies in here still, I wonder? I don't think I can use any of them. Anything here? Oh, there is There is a note. There is a note. Everyone here is dead. They've all been killed. Ghosts in this house are not like ghosts in other houses. If they're looking for something specific, their corpses actually get up. Someone threw the lockdown switch and I can't get out. I finally found the override key, but I'm not sure exactly where the switch is. Although I might have an idea. I remember overhearing a conversation Michael was having a few months ago about something which was located underground. I'm confused as to whether or not this underground location is the main basement where Myrtle's coffin is. I went down there a while ago and looked around, but it appears to be mostly a storage space. Maybe I missed it. The basement is extremely dark, even with a flashlight. Maybe I need to go search again more thoroughly. Okay, okay, please. Keep going. I need to find the switch. My very life depends on it, as do the lives of many future wanderers if this doesn't stop. One of the most unsettling things about this funeral home is that after a while, you start to feel as though it's hanging by a thread and on the verge of collapsing, prevented only by the mysterious force that fills the building. It's such a strange feeling. Maybe I'm not the same skeptic I was before working here. <laughs> but where is that damn switch? I don't know. I haven't seen anything like that yet, so possibly... There could possibly be some sort of secret area in the basement. 
I think we should have a have a look around if we get the opportunity the to. Deepest part of the house. Shit. Shit, okay, in the deepest part of the house. The basement, surely. Surely. Okay, well <laughs> Hang on. What's this? Where's that whispering coming from? Oh my god, I hate this. I really do. There's nothing here. No keys or anything, right? Okay. No maps. Can we just get out of here? Can we just get out of here? I just want to go to the basement. To be honest. And I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> but I just want to go to the basement. Oh, we can leave. Okay, brilliant. And it appears to be saving yet again, so let's see. Okay, you know what? Oh god. Okay. I will end the video after I've read what's on this piece of paper. X marks the spot. What are these circles and crosses? This isn't the Noughts of Crosses game again. Devin, you sly bastard. What? Oh. The chapel? All the chairs. There was three on either side that were sort of uh, facing the wall diagonally. I don't know if there was eight on either side of the aisle. Or the central passageway, whatever you call it. Um, we might be heading back to the chapel. Okay, that's that's fantastic. But that's going to happen in part three of Black Rose. Thank you very much for watching part two. And I uh, hope to see you back very soon. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, it's a key. Oh! I suppose the next move is the visitation room. But, um, but on the way... Where's that coming from? Oh! Maybe I should go down into the basement and go up! Oh no, 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 no. <sighs> What's going on? Holy shit! What the fuck is going on? Let me out, let me out right now! <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> And it appears to be saving yet again, so let's see. Okay, you know what? Oh god.